वेलकम टू हिरोज नेटवर्क रस्तिक इनवर्स सर्कुलर फंक्शन को कंटिन्सन कर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन से आज को प्रूफ दैट हाफ कस इनवर्स फाइव कस एक्स प्लस थ्री अपन फाइव प्लस थ्री कस एक्स इज इक्स टू टेन इनवर्स हाफ इंटू टेन एक्स बाई थ्री सो यह क्वेसन कर अगड़ी अलग क्वेश्चन हम मिलाने टू लाइट लाइं लादा खेल वी हेव टू प्रूफ दैट कस इनवर्स फाइव कस एक्स प्लस थ्री अपन फाइव प्लस थ्री कस एक्स इज इक्स टू टू टेन इनवर्स हाफ इंटू टेन एक्स बाई टू दैट इज नाउ वी हेव टू प्रूफ दैट टू टेन इनवर्स हाफ टेन एक्स बाई टू इज इक्स टू कस इनवर्स फाइव कस एक्स प्लस थ्री अपन फाइव प्लस थ्री कस एक्स सो वील स्टार्ट विथ राइट हैंड साइड राइट हैंड साइड टू टेन इनवर्स हाफ टेन एक्स बाई टू सो बिफोर डूइंग दिस वी हैव टू नो द रिलेशन बिट्वीन टेन इनवर्स एंड कॉस इन इनवर्स सो वी हैव रिलेशन टू टेन इनवर्स एक्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉस इनवर्स एक्स इट विल बी कॉस इनवर्स वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर सो हियर दिस इज एक्स so 2 tan inverse x in terms of cos inverse we are using this cos inverse 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square so i am using this so it will be cos inverse 1 minus x this is x half tan x by 2 whole square upon 1 plus x square 1 plus half tan x by 2 square now simplifying we get is equals to cos inverse 1 minus square of this will be tan square x by 2 upon 4 upon 1 plus square of this will be tan square x By two upon four. Now taking LCM in both numerator and denominator, we'll get cos inverse four minus tan square x by two upon one plus sorry four plus tan square x by two. So LCM get cancelled. Now. We know that tan theta is sine upon cos. So tan square x by two will be sine square x by two upon cos square x by two. Four plus sine square x by two upon cos square x by two. Again, taking LCM, <coughs> we get. Cos inverse four cos square x by two minus sine square x by two upon four cos square x by two plus sine square x by two. Now, sub multiple co relation ma jana hai ni two sine square x by two will be one minus cos x and 2 cos square x by 2 is equal to 1 plus cos x. So I am using this relation. So it will be cos inverse 4 cos square x by 2 will be 1 plus cos x divided by 2. 1 plus cos x divided by 2. Sin square x by 2 will be 1 minus cos x divided by 2. 1 minus cos x divided by 2. Four one plus cos x divided by two plus one minus cos x divided by two. Again taking LCM, so it will be cos inverse four plus four cos x minus one plus cos x because minus into minus is plus. Also. Four plus four cos x plus one minus cos x. So taking like terms, four minus one it will be three, and four plus one it will be five cos x. 
4 plus 1 is 5 plus 4 cos x minus cos x will be 3 cos x. So, it is our left hand side. So, left hand side is equal to right hand side. This is question number 1. Question number 2 prove that tan inverse x cos alpha 1 minus x sin alpha minus cot inverse cos alpha upon x minus sin alpha is independent of x. That is, this expression while solving we have to get free from x that is this expression will not get x. So, uh, there is a relation between tan inverse and cot inverse tan inverse x is equals to cot inverse 1 by x using this relation here we get tan inverse x cos alpha upon 1 minus x sin alpha minus tan inverse x minus sin alpha upon cos alpha that is using cot inverse x is the reciprocal of tan inverse x it, it will invert. Now, using another relation of tan inverse x minus tan inverse y is equals to tan inverse x minus y upon 1 plus x y. So, we are, we are using this relation here this is x and this is y. So, it will be tan inverse x cos alpha upon 1 minus x sin alpha minus x minus sin alpha upon cos alpha upon 1 plus x cos alpha 1 minus x sin alpha into x minus sin alpha upon cos alpha. Now, taking LCM in both numerator and denominator, we get tan inverse LCM get cancelled x cos square alpha minus x minus sin alpha into 1 minus x sin alpha upon 1 minus x sin alpha into cos alpha plus x cos alpha into x minus sin alpha. So, taking LCM and cancelling LCM. So, it will be tan inverse x cos square alpha multiplying x minus x square sin alpha minus sin alpha plus x sin square alpha x minus x square sin alpha minus sin alpha plus x sin square alpha upon cos alpha minus x sin alpha cos alpha plus x square cos alpha minus x sin alpha cos alpha x sin alpha cos alpha. So, it will be tan inverse x cos square alpha minus x minus e to minus plus x square sin alpha minus e to minus plus sin alpha plus into minus minus x sin square alpha upon x square cos alpha minus 2x sin alpha cos alpha plus cos alpha. Now, taking tan inverse, taking here we taking uh, we take common minus x, it will be 1 minus cos square alpha plus x square sin alpha plus sin alpha minus x sin square alpha upon taking cos alpha common x square minus 2x sin alpha plus 1. So, 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta that means 1 minus cos square alpha is sin square alpha. So, it will be tan inverse minus x sin square alpha 
plus x square sin alpha plus sin alpha minus x sin square alpha upon cos alpha x square minus 2x sin alpha plus 1. Minus x sin square alpha minus x sin square alpha minus 2x sin square alpha. So it will be tan inverse x square sin alpha. It will be minus 2x sin square alpha plus sin alpha upon cos alpha x square minus 2x sin alpha plus 1. Now taking sin alpha common from numerator, sin alpha it will be x square minus 2x sin alpha plus 1. In denominator it will be cos alpha x square minus 2x sin alpha plus 1. So this and this get cancelled. So we have tan alpha by cos alpha that is tan alpha tan inverse of tan theta is theta so tan inverse of tan alpha is alpha which is independent of x hence so this expression finally we are getting independent of x so this much for today